God bless you, WME family. Welcome back. I want to take this time to thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching these videos. These videos are presented to you to, to present a word of God, to encourage your life, to bless you. So if you haven't uh, taken time to see some of the, the studies and some of the, the programs we, we've put forth, I want to invite you to just look at the, the channel and there's many different uh, programs there that I'm sure will be a blessing to your life. But today we want to look at Acts chapter 1. And we want to begin in verse 8. Jesus had just rose from the dead. And so Jesus had presented himself to the disciples, to uh, his followers. And in verse 8, where we begin, it says, But ye shall receive power. And this is Jesus speaking to his church. Jesus speaking to his believers. And he says, But ye shall receive power after the Holy Spirit is come upon you. And ye shall be my witnesses unto, uh, you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria, Samaria and into the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of, out of, out of their sight. And they looked steadfastly towards heaven. And as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up unto heaven? This same Jesus that was taken up unto heaven shall come in like manner as ye have seen, seen him go, in, go into heaven. So Jesus is, give, is commissioning his church. He's commissioning the believers. And uh, he's telling them, go spread the gospel. Go share the word of God. Tell others who are hurting. Tell others who are dying right now who need the message of hope in their life, that, I, that I'm coming back. And so that's the mission of the church. But what did the church do? The church, as Jesus is ascending to heaven, they're standing there glazing uh, their, their eyes on, on heaven. They're looking towards heaven. Their, their vision is, is, is in heaven. And the angels, as they come down, they say, uh, stop looking up towards heaven and look around you. There's hurt around you. There's somebody who needs that word of hope, that word of encouragement. There's somebody who needs to know that God loves them, that they need to repent of their sins, that they need to come to Christ. So he said, stop glaze, gazing up, stop looking towards heaven and start looking around you. And that was the message of the angels to the church. They said, the same Jesus who went up is going to come back. And so we have a mission to do church. And that's why God, as a ministry here at WME, has commissioned us to go around the world. That's why we've been commissioned by the Lord to, to, to help those who have no helper, as the, as the scripture says. To reach out, to, 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 to feed the hungry, to, to, to clothe the naked. To be there with, with the, the hurting people. That's why when, when, when God, uh, God uh, we, we saw what was going on in Ukraine with the refugees, God put it in our heart to, to get involved in, in helping, in, in sharing the word of God, and, in being a blessing to those who are hurting right now. Same thing in Sri Lanka, the same thing in, 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 uh, um, in, in Nicaragua and the, and the other countries around the world where God has sent us, and even here in the USA, even what, what God has commissioned us to do in West Virginia and mission and, and in our women's shelter. Uh, there's a lot of work to do, church. There's so many people that are discouraged. There are so many people today that are hurting. There are so many people today who are lost. And God has given us, has commissioned us. He said, ye shall receive power doesn't matter what kind of opposition the church has right now. The church has always had opposition. The church has always had people come against them. The true believers in Christ have always been persecuted. But, it, the, but the Bible says, and God promised us, you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses. That's what God has called us to be, witnesses, to share about his love, to share about his his power to set people free, 
to deliver. And that's church, we've lost that. We, we've gotten too busy in our seminars, in our, in our uh, uh, feel-good seminars. We, we've gotten too busy in, uh, in, our, in, in, in teaching ourselves and in, in, in delighting ourselves and we forgot that there's a lost and there's a dying world that needs to hear the truth of the gospel. They need to hear about a God that loves them. They need to hear about a God who can set them free. And it's our job to help spread the word of God. The angels, as they, as they came down, they said, uh, why do you stare up? Look around you, there's so much need. And today, Maybe there's a neighbor. Maybe there's a loved one you haven't talked to in a while. Maybe there's a family member you need to reach out to. Maybe there's somebody at your, a coworker or somebody that that you know that could that could use a word of encouragement. That could use a word from God. That needs to come to Christ. That needs to be saved. That's our job, church. God has commissioned us to the lost. God has commissioned us to those that are hurting. And we have a job to do church. That is our mission as a church. That is our mission as believers in Christ to share the word of God to those who are hurting today. Let's pray together and let's ask God for his grace and let's ask God to use us to spread his word to those that are hurting today. Father God, we just come to you in Jesus' name, Lord. We pray for those that are watching today, Lord. And Lord, those who may be going through a struggle or a battle in their life, Father, that you would give them the victory, Lord. And also, Lord, that you would help us to preach your word and to reach those that are lost, Father. We pray this in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. And remember, if this video is a blessing to your life, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, and God bless you. World missionary evangelism began when John E. Douglas Sr. accepted the challenge of caring for six orphan children in India. From this act of love sprang a work that has grown to include children's homes, schools, leper clinics, vocational and agricultural education, disaster relief, feeding programs, drilling water wells, and building churches. And at the heart of all of WME's work has been living out the Great Commission to take the news of salvation through Jesus to everyone we meet. As World Missionary Evangelism's work has grown from the initial effort to save six children in India to establishing mission projects across the globe. Our address is WME, Post Office Box 660800. That's 660800. Dallas, Texas, 75266.